Today we'll do something really fun. We'll make a new Raspberry Pi Pico breakout board right from scratch through to fabrication. If you haven't worked with it before, you should go ahead and download KiCad. It's a free program for doing PCB design and schematic layouts, and it's really, really easy to work with. I found it pretty simple to learn. I think you will too. I believe this type of project is a great one for beginners because basically all we're taking is the Raspberry Pi footprint, which you can download online and it might even be part of the KiCad libraries by now. And we're just extending it out. We're going to add some terminal strips to external interfaces as well as headers so that we can jump from the header terminals through to a prototype area. There's not much to it. You just put global labels on everything that match what the actual labels on the chip are and then carry them through. Copy, paste and repeat. Now that we have all of our global labels populated, then now we move to routing the board. We just have to follow the rat's nest lines really easy on a breakout like this. You're just following them out from the center from the Pi Pico and carrying them through. Nothing to it. This is a pretty cool part that I figured out, how to make a prototyping area and how to have it completely automated. We can just duplicate the terminals, our holes in the board here, to uh, a grid pattern and have KiCad do all the work for us. And we just move this in on the board. Uh, looks like we could have done a bunch more terminals, so we'll repeat that with the correct amount and just set it all up so that we have a prototyping area where we can put on components or uh, external interfaces or whatever we want. We have the PCB space because of the terminals being kind of large, so why not use it? we end up with our board all laid out. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, taking a bit of a chance with the terminals to make sure that uh, hopefully the ones I ordered are the right size. And that's part of the fun of PCB making. But when we go into the 3D rendering in KiCad, it just does an amazing job. Check this out. This is what our board will look like after we get it back from fabrication. And it is accurate. It comes back exactly looking like this. And of course, we're going to use PCB way to fabricate our boards. We want to go right from the main page. We're going to use the instant quote function. We're going to do 10 boards and go ahead and pick basically the defaults for everything. Uh, it's the same as we've done in previous videos. You can alter to suit whatever your board is, but I'm going to go with pretty much the vanilla everything here. I'm going to let them panelize them. Uh, you could panelize it yourself as we've done in the rescue videos here, but honestly, it's just as easy to have them panelize it and they do a great job. We go through the rest of the criteria and the only change I'm going to make is we're going to do a white solder mask today. I think that'll look pretty cool and we'll see how it turns out. And some days later, here to Canada comes a DHL box from PCB Way. Everything packaged wonderfully. They do a bubble shrink wrap around the boards themselves. This was a dual order. Uh, we've got another video coming up on the Wemos D1 Mini breakouts, but this is what we got. I'm super happy with the quality of these things. It, it looks wonderful. I love the white solder mask too. I think it's really classy on some of these boards and I've done the same on the rescue and been really, really happy. Back to the workbench, we'll solder on our terminal strips. We've assembled those, they just clip together and then we're going to solder on some female headers for the Pi Pico to sit into. And then we'll use some male headers that we can uh, easily put jumpers, female to male jumpers on to jump her to our prototype area or whatever we desire later on. 
All my Gerber files, the KiCad project, everything are linked down below. They're stored in my GitHub repo, including newer versions of this. I already did a V2 where we flip the Pico around upside down so that the USB comes off the end of the board, makes a little bit more sense. And then I'm moving on to a V3 as well, whether I'll add a reset switch and maybe some other component functionality. I'm not sure yet, but everything is there in my GitHub repo. I've also added this project as kits in my store link down below. You can buy yourself a kit with all the components needed to make one breakout, or you can just order them yourself. As I mentioned, all of the source files are available in my GitHub, but if you want a ready-made all set to go, well, go ahead and check out my store. If the stock quantity is zero, just join the wait list and I'll make some more. Overall, I couldn't be happier with this. Other than having the Pico uh, kind of the wrong way around. I wish I would have had the USB the other way, but version two has that corrected. Otherwise, this works great. I don't have to solder the Pico onto the board, but you can if you desire. You don't have to use the, the stacked headers. It solders right to the pads. And I have everything I need to terminate wires with just screw terminals. That makes it really easy to rapidly change the project or add more components, remove stuff, and then we have the prototyping area to solder things in place for more permanent permanent nature. So I'm pretty happy with this project. What a fun use to make one's own PCBs. It's quite cheap and quite easy. I hope everyone gets a chance to try making their own circuit boards. It's a lot of fun and really satisfying. I hope you like this project. Cheers guys. Good luck in all your projects.